Hi there. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm basically going to make a video about how to carry your skis and your kids in your model X. Um, I've got a family with two children, one, three, one, six, the other six. So I got to make this work. I, I know I, I try to get the ski racks. Tesla doesn't do that anymore. I know when I got the model X, you could actually get a ski uh, rack that fit at the back. Now they do a bicycle version. And I don't know if it can be adapted for the skis, and even if it could, uh, I haven't got one. It's out of stock in the UK region, so you can't get your hands on one of these things. Um, so I'm gonna put them inside. I've done that before. It, it was very uncomfortable the last time I did it because it kind of just went in the middle. So this time I've decided to arrange my seats rather than a two-two, uh, two-three-two configuration. It's gonna be in a two-one-one configuration. I use the entire boot for them. Now I've got quite long skis and I measure, I think they're probably, uh, you know, I'm about a meter uh, 80 tall. So these are pretty long skis um, and my snowboard, as well as a suitcase uh, for me, the wife and the kids. So we'll see how that works, if it works at all. Okay, I'm going to show you the present configuration of the car so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about and what we're trying to achieve. So let me just get this Falcon wing door to open all the way. And so, don't mind that noise. Okay. Okay, so this is the current configuration. I've got two seats at the uh, in the second row. Um, they're really good, safe seats for kids. They got side impact bar uh, protection and also for the for the head. Um, but they do take up quite a bit of space. It's hard to fit an adult in the middle. Not that we need to. But this is going to be the configuration that I want to change from a two uh, adults at the front. Uh, one child in the middle and one child at the back and then use the side space for the skis so there are isofixes at the back uh, in there in the back row uh, the thing to note about these isofixes is they don't necessarily line up the metal inside doesn't line up with where the plastic that indicates their presence is so you have to put your finger on in there to figure out where exactly the metal uh bar is and uh it's worth just moving those seat belts to the side and i'll show that in a second so i'm gonna take out one car seat okay so i'm gonna take out the car seats in there at the moment Okay, so that removes only one of the front ones. Um, it's quite easy to, to fold this down. So, there we go. So we get access to the back. So just move this camera a little further forward. Okay, so at the back, what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna put this seat down so we got all this boot space okay we got all this boot space and uh, all we're looking at doing now is installing the rear car seat to the ISO 6 so one thing to remember about this is to make it easy you know take take this belt um, put it around put it around the seat like this and just to make sure it you know it's out of the way um because if it's if it's in the way of the isofixes it's it can be a real pain to fit that car seat in there so feel the position of the metal bar with your fingers and if that's all let's fit it
Okay, when you put your Isofix on, you know you've got to see, you need to see this turning green. So you know they've got a click in place and there's a metal receiver over there um, on the other side of the seat. So uh, in order to actually find it, you find that with your finger first. Don't just rely on the position of the plastic um, indicators put in there by Tesla because in the, in the case of my car, they don't actually perfectly line up with that bar and it can be a real pain fixing the seat if you relied on that. Like I said, get the, get the, uh, seat belt out of the way so if i give you a closer look of what i actually look you know you can see the the the, the ice fix and move the seat belt out of the way because otherwise that does cover it and it makes it a lot harder to put this seat in there so once you've done that let's try and put the car seat in Success that has clicked into place. Okay, so this is what I've converted it into and uh, You can see now the, the What we'll have is driver child one six years old child two three years old I'll adjust the, the gap and then of course you got the front uh, left passenger. I no longer have uh, a seat on this side, but we don't need it so it should work out just perfectly let's see how much space uh we've got and whether actually i can put these skis in here so here we are um i've got the skis in there i've also got enough room to fit a suitcase um i use them at the front uh, if you were concerned with uh, things you're putting at the back moving around you could use the strap You've got this cargo uh, hold hooks at the back here, so you could certainly uh, put the straps over the uh, over the suitcase and secure it so that it doesn't move when you brake, uh, provided you haven't got anything uh, in front of it. And if you do, then that you know should help kind of stabilize whatever you're putting at the back. I will be putting a couple more things at the front and using straps that just sort of go around it. You know, the book will close very comfortably. Um, so you don't have to travel with anything kind of moving inside. Um, just gonna take that one out. i show you. Okay, so this is what the solution looks like. Uh, you can see that I have strapped the skis around the seat so they're not free to move when I brake or when I go over bumpy roads or even if God forbid we should get into a collision they're not gonna fly around and hit the kids in the face or anything like that I will pass another strap around the middle but this is just the, um, how I've set it up so you can see uh, basically what I'm talking about and if you have small children then they should be able to sit comfortably and because those seats have side barriers so they you know they're, they're not going to have any of the luggage uh hitting them or anything like that it'll be quite a comfortable ride because they're, they're protected from the sort of any sort of side impact um but nevertheless this is the arrangement i propose for carrying your skis inside without damaging any of your lever if you get Obviously the carrier bags, it's, it's an excellent solution. Um, you still got storage at the back, you got storage on the side, and uh, you got storage on the front boot, which I'm not using at the moment, but in terms of uh, space, the X can do it. So the strap has gone uh, around the middle seat and over the suitcase securing it in place so it's not going to fly over and hit any of the kids or anything like that so it will be a very sturdy uh arrangement and here here's another so in this arrangement you can see i've used the back space for my boots i could have just as well used the front boot for it uh we're gonna carry some provisions along on this journey so that'll probably be a good use of my front boot space Okay. As you can see, 